Kia ora everyone, my name's Carla. I'm the Kiwi Can coordinator for Christchurch. And today I'd like to show you all how to make this little Easter bunny rabbit out of a spear sock. So here we go. You will need some rice, a sock, some scissors. In this case, I'm going to be using serrated scissors. A vivid marker pen of your choice of colour. Some string or some twine and some ribbon again any color of, of your choice if you've got something sitting around the house so it's now time to fill the sock up with some rice and what I've done here is I have attached the sock to a cup so that it makes it easier um, to put the rice in and I'm just using a um, measuring cup here to get the rice and to fill the sock up with the rice like so. What we're going to do is stop filling up the sock with the rice when it's just um, almost at the ankle part there. So you can see I've got no rice in the ankle part. Just going to spin that around there so the ankle goes to the back and then we're going to pinch almost just above halfway so that we can create the head and the body there. So I'm just going to pinch that there and my next step is to put some twine to hold the rice in place. We're going to put some twine around the top of the sock, so roughly about there for his ears eventually and then a piece of twine around about here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you right now and I will show you a piece of twine there and a piece of twine for his head around about just above halfway. Great, so after I've put the twine around the top here, this is his ears at the top, and the next stage is the second piece of twine, which is around, kind of around his neck, and you can start to see there the, the shape of the bunny starting to form, the bottom part being his body, this is his head, and these are going to be his ears. So just to turn it round, you can see here at the back, that's the heel part. It's all filled with rice there to make it sort of heavy, so it sits back on the angle for the shape of the body. And my next part is going to be cutting these ears into shape and um, for these ears I'm going to be using the serrated scissors which I've got but normal scissors would be fine as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that part um, completed. Now. Right so his little ears are done and um, what I found was I actually had to fill them up a little bit more with rice than expected. So um, yeah, just keep adding rice until you get that nice plump little bunny look there. And to do his ears, I simply got a normal pair of scissors and chopped straight down the middle. So into the center like that with normal scissors. And then I decided to use my um, serrated scissors. I have some of these at home. So just use those to cut up on the angle from the center up onto the corner of the little piece of sock there. Now if you were wanting to give him a little tail, um, the leftover little scraps of socks that were chopped off of, from his ears, I guess if you got creative you could um, bunch them up and if you do have a glue gun you might like to glue them on the end there to make him a, give him a little tail or else if you've got something at home that you might like to give him a tail that's great as well. So we've got his ears, his head and now his body. So my next step is basically just to um, put a little piece of ribbon around here to make him look pretty and again you can use anything you've got some wool or um, some ribbon at home just to get creative around that so I'm going to do that for you now. So there's a little bit of ribbon around his neck and the last thing to do is put a wee face on our bunny and so there is his little face all finished and our little Easter bunny is good to go so um, again, hope you have fun making him with your rice and your socks. Um, hopefully you'll find a spare sock in your home somewhere. There's a bit of a joke going around for parents saying that the washing machines eat all the socks. So hopefully you've got a spare sock sitting around so you can make this little guy. Happy Easter everyone.